trees. This painting is called The Fourth Watch and it's based on Matthew 14, 24, which is Matthew 24, um, 14, 24. But the boat at this, by this time was a long way from the land, being beaten by the waves, but the wind was against it. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the water. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear, but immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Matthew 20, uh, 14, 24. The boat was a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. The fourth watch, which is 3 till 6 a.m., is usually the coldest and darkest time of the night, as anyone who has woken up at this time will know, especially if they have something on their mind. Things seem magnified, problems and worries larger than life. And we feel as if we've got rowing against the wind, as in general Christianity has always been rowing against the winds of this world. But it is difficult not to feel that things are getting stormier in many ways. In literal storms in the weather, health, financial storms, political storms, then there are seemingly unsolvable problems in the world. We can't help but feel it's all coming to our head. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When, he saw, when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified and thought he was a ghost. This is similar to Matthew 8, still in the storm, but this time the disciples were in the boat on their own without Jesus. Even if it seems the disciples are alone and abandoned, Jesus was watching over them and came to their rescue. During the walk on the water, Peter is singled out from the other twelve has taken the risk of faith by going over the side to join Jesus. But Peter, in this account, is often seen as having a moment of doubt when he looks down at the water. But his faith, faith must be contrasted with the faith of the other eleven who were content to stay in the boat. His moment of doubt as he looks down and begins to sink, but immediately Jesus reaches out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? And when he climbed into the boat and the winds died down, those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. As the world gets darker and the storms and the winds are against us, we can feel alone and abandoned. It is a comfort to remember Jesus watching over the disciples and coming to the rescue. And Peter was all right all the time he looked at Jesus. But when he looked down, it was when that then that he started to sink. But Jesus reached down and caught Peter before he disappeared beneath the waves. And Psalm 93, we've got, Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. And to explain the painting itself, the background of the painting is, is like a storm, but it's also like the cosmos, a nebula, a new creation. The full moon is to reset represent the depth of the night, the darkest time, the hour of the wolf, I've heard it called. But there is a hint of rainbow colours in the clouds, ultimate hope and promise. The sea in the ancient mind represents chaos, but Jesus has control and is not affected by it. He walks on the water 